actually oh, I do. tremendously exciting to see everything that's going on. I think there's a lot of energy here. I think awareness. Uh, the students in my class have paid more for their books than they are paying to receive instruction from me. We're the first secondary school that we know of that is releasing the courses back, um, open courseware type stuff, so that anybody can have access to it. Also, we want to highlight here that the U.S. government recently announced a $2 billion community college training grant fund, which is potentially the biggest investment in OER to date. So this is a huge opportunity, if done right, to take OER to another level and really deploy it at scale. There are 115 million students who cannot get into college in India. So how are we going to reach them? There are some problems with how digital technologies are developed. Standard digital technologies are designed for the typical or average user, and that's usually where they stop. Students can have the material open in one window and their problem sets on the other, and um, so it, it, it's a better environment for students. It keeps them more stimulated than in a paper textbook. So we're seeing that um, open textbooks of the future are not going to look like just a textbook that's been digitized. There's going to be a whole, a whole bunch more interactivity and I think that's going to be a great thing. OER is a way in which you can change education, you can change policy, you can make big decisions. And to make big decisions people need simplified messages, but to know that there's things behind those simplified messages to be able to drill down. And what we're finding is that our mentors are actually all these closet teachers. They, they're in uh, high tech in Silicon Valley, but they actually are desperate to teach. Open is a battle, it's a fight. It's against closed. And there's a lot of closed here that we're trying to, to fight against. So I would like to see open education be as open as the internet, as open as the web, and as open as open source. The best part of being here is actually not what I'm going to say, but what I'm going to learn that I can bring back. So your challenge is how to take the deep research and then move it up to a message that's universal and transferable to, to everyone else. I'm really excited because we've never done a design challenge before with this theme. So, and with this group of people, all these amazing minds that are here for this event, it's going to be incredible. So, I'm just really excited to kind of put it out there and see what comes. So, it should be great. All the tools that are available to us as professionals, whether in publishing or education, are also available to the students. The same tool set. And they can do what we do. The technology solutions we are developing are deliberately open source, low-tech leverages of high-tech solutions. In fact, much of what we're doing has more in common with successful strategies in the developing world than with typical American solutions filled with bells and whistles. But I think that this makes sense because, in reality, America's inner cities are our third world countries. So the only way that OER tools and resources are going to disproportionately benefit, you know, low income populations, close gaps that we care about, will be if there are, you know, policies, professional development, um, specific targeted interventions at populations um, so that, so that the, you know, the people we want to disproportionately benefit do. that 
that lots of times in lots of different ways. And students find it profoundly motivating um, to create work that uh, that's made accessible to, to you know their classmates or their schoolmates or their community or the world. The entire course is on that CD, which is why the students have gone from sitting in a classroom looking extremely bored and disinterested to actually having resources that they could look at outside of class time and refer to. Um, they are also printable. Um, and you'll see that each one creates a standalone interactive environment that students, where students can explore like scientists and really start making connections and develop a deep conceptual understanding. I think MAKE is a great example of that. Build a project. It demonstrates what you do. There's a physical result at the end. But your story about that result, the story of the process, how you got there, what you were thinking along the way, why you did it that way, that's also evidence of learning. So for me, the most important open educational resources are the students themselves. Thank you.